And the last episode, post credit scene, some big dude with the big ass sword showed up. Now, usually in these kind of shows, you know, you have the early game. We're in the early game right now, right? We don't really have a final villain. We don't really have any kind of arcs yet. We're slowly building up. This is like the team formation. And usually the early game villains, they fight and then they become our friends. I have a feeling this big guy is going to be like that. Or maybe I'm wrong. Let's begin today's reaction though. Mm. thing about Hot Pot is that... If you don't have friends, or like a girlfriend, you can't go there and eat alone. It just looks so bad. If you, oh, you can't eat alone at a hot pot place. It just looks so fucking pathetic. They're talking really loud. Just like me, but I'm not in a public restaurant. I think this is the guy we saw last episode, right? Probably? Oh, these drunk motherfuckers! Who was it? Okay, he dodged out of the way, right? <laughs> Bro, you can't just throw a bottle at his head and it broke! He's right. Okay, they're kind of big. The democratic rights movement! Yaiko is such a giga chad. You are drunks! You're a drunk democratic right activist! <laughs> Grown ass man picking a fight with like a 12 year old. No, you can't. No, beat them up, right? Oh. Oh, oh. This guy's design, though. Oh, shh. Yeah, he looks like he's straight out of a fighting game. That's actually unforgivable. He backhanded tight. No, fuck him up. Fight him. 3v1. Let's see it. Oh? That is true. You talk your shit, man. His name is Sanosuke, I think, right? Outside? Alright, let's do it. 3v1, let's go. Don't... Okay, good, good. I thought they might, like, off-screen the fight and they're already knocked out. Dude, there's an entire crowd outside. I love how everybody... I, I'd like to think that everybody in the restaurant came outside to watch this shit. I'm pretty sure it is. The guy in the suit behind was eating beside. What? What, what is that? That's a weapon. Suntetsu. He took it head on in his forehead, though. What is up with his forehead? He took a weapon directly to his forehead. Maybe he has like a metal plate there? I don't know. What about it? Is it already busted up? What? what? Oh, he used it to attack, but then the, the impact of landing, it went backwards, right? Holy shit. Ah. The Democratic Activist Party sounds like a bunch of bullshit now with these dudes. No. He really built like that? Yeah, yeah, he is! Did you hear that sound? The impact on that? This guy's got some freakish strength. The durability is insane, too. Kenshin looks kind of interested. You guys want to fight? Oh, wow, really? You pull a blade? Are you sure? Oh, he got the murderous eyes back. I like this Kenshin the most. Correct yourselves. Mm, talk your shit. <laughs> yeah, don't forget to pay your bills. <laughs> That's the most important thing. Don't forget to pay your bills. What a bunch of clowns. This guy is sick. Again, his design. Bro looks like he's out of a fighting game. I love his design. Oh yeah, they did throw a bottle at the back of his head and it smashed. Uh -huh. Intentionally this Someone else would have gotten hit. Oh. I thought... Because he was... This look, I thought he was just acting dumb. No, no, he wasn't acting dumb. That was all to protect her. Damn. 1v1. But... He... You know, he did have a weapon. Okay. I thought that he might be introduced as a villain, but no, he's, he's not such a good guy, even though this is bad in the past. <laughs> Doesn't really work with the timing when I was just about to say he's a good guy. Exactly. No, he's a good guy for sure.
No, he's badass. I hope he joins our team. He kicked them out for them. I guess that, that's part of the, the fees. We know this voice. Wait, are these the dudes in the first couple episodes? Hold, hold up. Are they? Escape from jail. So it is them. These clowns, really? I thought they were one and done kind of villains, but... All right, they're back in episode four. What the fuck? Why is he cosplaying? Why, why is he cosplaying? He even got the entire outfit, right? <laughs> he left his weapon here, too. Oh. He can sense the aura, the energy. <laughs> I wonder if there is that kind of like energy system in this show. Cause you know, every shonen series, there's like ki, reatsu, spiritual energy, that, that kind of stuff, right? Ooh, he knows you. Yaiko doesn't know, right? Yeah, Yaiko doesn't know anything. Yo, he did his fucking work. He did his history. Uh, the homework. Fourteen to nineteen. When you would just be going to high school, he was just killing people. I mean, he probably just got tired of all the murder and decided, you know, it's time to live a different path of like atonement. Usually, it's that kind of deal, right? Oh, they came to watch. I hope he's still in his outfit. Oh, I thought he was to be cosplaying as cosplaying as him. And then? Think it, okay, do enough damage to Batosai? You guys are gonna go in for the kill still? Oh, you were gonna put in an yeah cap. Cap. Gun. Oh, this is a bit different. But I bet we could cut the bullets and shit too, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is some therapy session? Hold up. I want to see a fight. What was that? Some kind of backstory. He hates imperialists. Probably because of his backstory. Did his family get crushed by some imperialists in the past? Yo, this is some deep rooted trauma just pouring out. Okay. Shit just got so personal. I just want to see a good fight. Mm. What's in that wrapped weapon? <laughs> they're right there out. They're watching right now. <laughs> the annoying thing is that they got a gun though. Fuck. What happens if he aims it not at Kenshin, but at like, you know, like Yaiko or her instead? The gun? Thank you. Good job. Good job. Take that shit away. Maybe they have a backup gun. Wait! You can't just. I know it's anime, but he just fucking punched a gun and destroyed it. That's kind of really insane. His. Physical strength is insane. Yeah, we should just kill these two right now. It'd make our lives so much easier. Oh shit. Everybody's like, oh, 
the fight's about to go out. Yo, this is like in high school when like two kids are about to fight and everybody kind of knows and they're like, all right, meet me outside back in the fucking, I don't know, the parking lot or something. <laughs> and then all the kids are watching and they're like, oh shit, shit's about to go down. Let's go watch. Yep. Absolutely. I, Kenshin's not gonna lose. Holy shit, it's a Guts Greatsword. It's a fucking Greatsword. Oh. Bro, this shit's straight out of Berserk. Zanbato. Damn. The Greatsword, dude. This is my choice of weapon. The colossal weapon in Elden Ring. Yeah, because it's ridiculously heavy, but this guy has insane physical strength. I mean, you don't need to cut. You can just bonk. Please don't give me a cliffhanger. Why do I feel like a cliffhanger is about to happen? Please don't. I just don't think that he has a chance against Kenshin. Because Kenshin has pretty much beat everybody without even trying so far. Same goes for you. Something broke. It's over. Well, it looks like he's super durable though, right? Even if he takes damage. It's not over, right? Come on, get up. This fight was hyped up. Come on, get up. Okay, he's up. Okay, okay. good, good. I want to see a proper fight. Is this durability, maybe? Abnormal hits, yep, yep. That shit was insane. He's got like iron skin. Or maybe he's hiding it. You know, it's like, oh shit, this hurts so much, but I gotta keep a cool face. Well, if we really wanted to beat him, we would just use the other side of the blade, right? But I don't think Kenshin would ever do that. Yo, flip the blade. Come on, go serious for once. Cliffhanger, right? Please don't. Come on, come on, come on. That weapon, man, the great sword is so sick to Zanbatu. But again, at the end of the day, what does it mean anything if he can't land a hit on Kenshin? Kenshin's thing is speed. It's been pretty much highlighted since like episode one. And every time he fights, this dude is so fucking fast. No one can catch him, right? Like maybe Sanosuke could do like a, an AOE attack by smashing the ground so that there's, I don't know, fucking stuff flies everywhere and it's limited. I don't know. I'm trying to think of a way that Sanosuke can win, but I just don't think he can win. Because Kenshin, again, if he really wanted to go serious, he just flipped the blade. Right, this is a legendary sword versus uh, Sanosuke is sick. Maybe he can take the other blade hits, but his entire thing is durability. At best, I think he'll put up a good fight and he'll gain Kenshin's respect. And I hope that he joins our team and we move on and do some other stuff. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.